In the last session, we have seen how to sequence uh, the parallel jobs in order and uh, how to run parallelly the sequence number of parallel jobs in the sequence of number of parallel jobs. In this session, we are going to see how to control, how to control. So when you drag an output link from an activity, you get a new tab called triggers condition, triggers tab, triggers tab. And in the trigger tabs, we have triggers conditions, triggers conditions. So OK means it is finished status. Warnings means finished C log status. Failed means aborted status. User status you can define on your own what you want. And custom status, there are some predefined uh, uh, functions based on that we can use them. And if you want uh, something otherwise unconditional, we have some other uh, trigger conditions. We'll see them. So executed OK means if this sample load job is success with finished C log, I'm sorry, success with finished status, not even finished C log. Finished status, then only it is going to copy operator and run this job. If this copy operator job is successful, then only it will go to remove duplicates job. Means copy operator also should be success with finished status only. So if I run this job, in this case, without any problem, these jobs are going to run. These jobs are going to run in the as we seen in the last session. So the sequence starts first and sample load job will finish successfully first with finished status, next copy operator and next remote duplicate. That is the order we have given in the sequence, in sequence job. So this will execute accordingly. There will be no issue at all, okay? Because three jobs are completing with finished status only or done with the finished status only. How to see view the job from the job activity? Once you right click on this job activity, you can see open job command. There you can go and see the job. Now, here I have a data set file. Okay. And assume that I just want to abort this job because of uh, username issue. Username issue. There is no user of Scott one. I have given Scott. So I'm compiling this job now in this uh, parallel job. And now I am going into the job activity and this job is going to fail now. When this job is failed, we'll see whether these two jobs are going to execute or not means. So first sample load job will execute accordingly from the last session, what we have seen the same way it will execute. See what happens, sample load job is about it. And the sequence job also completed with finished C log status. It did not execute this remote duplicate job or copy operator stage. Those two jobs did not execute because sample load job is aborted. But what I have given the trigger condition in the sample load job, if this job is okay, then you can run the copy operator job, but this job is aborted due to user name. So now this job is not at run. They did not run now. See, there is a time gap about 1028. And after 1028, these should, two jobs should run. But there is no execution of this copy operator and remote duplicate after to this sample load job about Because the technical condition is not matching, so it will not execute. Correct or not? So that is the major part of the trigger condition. Okay. Now, I'll just show you one more thing. If you put aborted status failed, Means if this job is failed, then only it should go and run this copy operator. Now it will execute? Yes, 100% it will execute. Because in the first job I given aborted and the second job okay and third job will execute accordingly. See, now this job is aborted. Okay, sequence also got aborted. Yes, sequence also got aborted. We'll see why the sequence got aborted. Compiled and not running. Oh, sorry. Then before also this job ran with, see aborted only. The status aborted. So no problem. But the second sequence only is having an issue.
So whereas OK status, but it is aborted, that is the reason it is not running. That is the warning we got in the previous uh, run. But in this current run, uh, the job itself did not run. Compiled and not running. Okay. Okay, okay. I just forgot one key point here. What happened here? Aborted. Aborted status until you compile again, until you compile again this job, you cannot run this job. You got me? Before what I did, I have changed the username and I compiled there. I compiled and I went to the sequence and ran. But here, after completion, the job did not fail. Just uh, try to make a note of this point. For this, we have a solution that we will see in the next session or maybe, I mean, maybe in the next session only. So try to make a note of this point. We'll make this point clear in the next session. Okay. So what is happening? What is the error? It, uh, it got aborted. And until unless you compile at your job level, you cannot run the sequence now. You cannot run the sequence. Now you run the sequence, it is going to run. Okay, now what is the output? The sample node job should abort because the trigger condition I have given failed. It should abort. Then only this copy operator job is going to start. And if, is, if this copy operator job is finished with OK status, then only the remote duplicate stop job is going to execute. So now I compiled at job level once this job is aborted. So now the sequence is also going to run successfully. Before the sequence got aborted, because the parallel job uh, is aborted, but it did not compile, so it cannot run. Now see, sample load job is aborted, then the second job, copy operator job is running. And if you see the remote duplicate job is running. At the final, you see the sequence job flow, the sequence job flow, whether it is finished status or finished C log status. See, the finished C log status. We'll see what is the problem, why did it get uh, finished C log status. See, uh, which job, sample load job I have mentioned did not finish okay, status is equal to aborted. Okay, it did not success, it is throwing error. It is saying that it is not successed. Okay, even though I mentioned fail, then then all it is running in this sequence. Okay, so that is just a warning. It is saying it is not run successfully. Okay, then next it was failed. It is running successfully of the next jobs because the condition can I given itself uh, a failure. Okay, so this is the trigger condition of okay and fail. Finished C log. Finished C log means warnings. So, finished C log warnings means warnings are not uh, uh, something like uh, errors. Okay, finished C log means it's not like something like uh, errors. But finished warnings are just uh, uh, like uh, what do we say, uh, giving some information regarding so and so is not happening because of that we are not able to, because of that we are not able to do this. It's just, what I can say, it's just a, a warning, but uh, we don't need to bother. Data flow will happen from source to target. There is no problem in that. So some cases what happens due to the some file issue when we get warnings, but uh, directly if I put status like, directly put, if I put status like okay, if I get finished C-log, but even though the data is loaded and the second job is not going to run, you got me right. Some cases, what happens due to network issue, due to some other issues which are not in the job level, maybe they will get some warnings. Because of that warning, if the job is getting finished C log status, and if I make a trigger condition like OK, in that case, what happens? In that case, what happens? The uh, finished C log, the finished C log condition, it is coming, but again, the trigger condition is OK. In that case, it will not go to the next job, but which is, should not happen in that. So for this, what we can have, we can have a custom condition. Custom condition, what we can have, we can say, we have some, I'm sorry, not macros, constraints. 
what is that so ds job we am going to just check uh, some uh, trigger conditions we have in user status we can make these are predefined see run on warnings are consents run okay means it can be okay it can be it can be okay or it can be warnings also it should run custom condition with predefined conditions i am writing this condition okay so i don't have any trigger condition for the third job so now go to this job open this job we'll go and make this user correctly now compile and close this job compile the sequence job and execute i'll just uh, we'll see i'll show you with a uh, okay uh, warnings also in another with another job we'll see okay it will be finished okay no no need to worry no need to worry we know that okay okay we see some finished c log jobs like transformer no no i don't want to take this multi instance jobs i want to take uh, transfer stage loop okay i have a log here finished c log status what is that warning delimit right am i did not for now okay fine so i had finished the c log status which is job 24 i'll just go to the repository and what i'll do i'll move this 24 job into the sequence okay and i'll call that job as well to the now in this what i am going to make a condition is i am going to say okay but the job is finished finished status job is finished status okay means finished status but the job is giving finished c log status finished c log status we'll see whether this job will go to further or not we'll go and run this further no it is not running see the sequence also completed sequence also completed now in the transformer job i'll give the custom condition whatever i mentioned i'll give the customer if you put warnings yes it will execute only warnings it will execute but if i don't get warnings and if i finish with finish to see log status then what happens i get it is a big problem correct or not i get it is a big problem see finish to see log but the second job is running the example load job is running next uh, copy operator job will run the next uh, remote duplicate stage job also will run within seconds these are running they are lapse times it they lapse time if you want we can make the time stamp even okay see now sequence job is still running now it is finished because of the transformer looking job uh, finished the c log status i am getting uh, sequence also as if this is c log status because it is a warning right did not finish with okay did not finish with okay status is finished to see see finished to warnings what is the status what is the code of uh, uh, finished c log two finished with warnings two about it will be three about it will be three so this is what about uh, triggers condition of uh, okay you failed warnings and a custom and user status you can write but this keyword should come from the job that should be in a problem so i don't want to make that here so user status is like manually you can write some condition if this output if you are getting then only it is going to be 
write that. But mostly don't go for user status. We do we go for a customer usually in the real time we go for custom condition and we just give this uh, uh, run status okay or uh, with warnings. Okay. So user status manually you can write anything. And otherwise, otherwise in the sense, otherwise an unconditional. Unconditional does not check with uh, any condition. It will execute the next immediately. Even though it is aborted, even though it is finished C status, finished C log status, it doesn't bother of this condition, but uh, unconditional will go directly. But otherwise, what does it do? Apart from okay, apart from failed, apart from warnings, apart from user status, apart from condition, but we don't go, but only it will check with okay, failed, and warnings. That's it. If apart from these things happens, then it will go to the next. So difference between otherwise and unconditional, mostly people will ask you. Unconditional is which is not having any condition. Once this job is completed, whether it is fail, whether it is finished status, finished C log status, whatever it is, the next job. Otherwise, we will not uh, go with the output until unless it checks with the conditions, with the trigger conditions. So apart from this, if you get OK, OK, warnings or uh, these things, then only it goes to the next level. So this makes some problem. So that's why mostly people use this custom condition and uses uh, run if OK or run uh, or uh, warnings are OK. That's what uh, the conditions. OK, so these are the trigger conditions that we need to know. And uh, in the next session, we'll go with the execution job action. And in that case, we'll cover uh, the previous. I just asked you to make it work. So that point we'll cover in the next session. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for your time. Thank you.